What's up guys, the power here rich being as you know Wi-Fi battle and this is surprising because this is a battle for Mount Silver. So hello Mount Silver, I am back again. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you, but hopefully, you know, it's not too bad. But either way, this is a battle against Colozozo. Wow, that's, that's a very interesting name. And uh, it's against one of my subscribers because I tweeted out for Mount Silver. I'm pretty sure he knows it on Mount Silver. Hopefully he knows it on Mount Silver, but... Yeah, so I'm bringing you guys a live battle today for Mount Silver, and we're just going to get straight into it. I'm just going to select some music. I don't know, let's, you know, I haven't done Music 7 for a long time, so I'm going to do Music 7 because it's some pretty sexy stuff. And bring in the previous team that I used on my channel, so, I mean, you guys won't have seen it, but this is kind of a, I suppose, hyper-offensive team. There's not much a defensive core, so <laughs> let's just see how this goes. I'm going to see a quick photo. I've already got everything prepared for you guys. That's how, that's how, that's how good I am. Okay, so yeah, nice, nice photo. He's bringing, this man is bringing a Pikachu. Wow, mad respect, because I saw the mixed tier, and I'm fair enough, he's bringing some PU stuff, apparently. Or whatever tier this thing falls in, but I know it's PU Pokemon as well, so I'm not sure, I even know it's not like a specific official tier, but I don't know, we'll see. So it's a pretty interesting team up, the Salamans. I've not seen that in singles for a while. Conkeldur is always a bit of a threat. Aegislash is a huge threat. Mega Mawile and Trevenant. So he's got... I'm assuming Trevenant would be his defensive Pokemon. So, I don't know, actually. This is No, maybe he's especially defensive, because then Salamence could be physically... I don't know. Could be a Scarfed Salamence, so you never, never really know anymore. But what, what could he lead off with? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe something with Intimidate. I definitely want to send out a special attacker. What does my Greninja have? I keep forgetting what this thing has. Oh, this is not my extra century one. Um... Yeah, what do I do? I don't actually know what he's going to off, lead off with, which is always annoying. I mean, Pikachu, I definitely don't want to send in Greninja, because Pikachu's, you know, right there. Um. <laughs> I kind of contemplate to send out my own Mawile, just to get the Intimidate. If we, so if he sends in Salamence, then I guess it's not going to be too bad. But yeah, let's just confirm and let's just do that. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. So good luck, my fellow Colozozo. Colo -zo bit of a bit of a mouthful, but it's kind of kind of a kind of a nice like flow. Colozozo, you yeah. know. So let's see off. See off. See what he leads off with. That's what I meant to say. So go fitty. Great. <laughs> Uh, we'll see he leads on with the mascot the Pikachu himself the shiny Pikachu So I'm glad I'm getting an intimidate off this thing because I'm pretty sure these things are physical and I don't have player off on this thing. Oh my god that Salamence is actually gonna be on a fr I keep on forgetting to heart scale player off onto this thing. I really do. That's really really Unbeneficial. I mean he might predict a player off. I kind of just feel like I could go for crunch well, No, actually there's no point could go for Rock Tomb, just to slow down anything. So yeah, let's go for Rock Tomb. Yes, I run Rock Tomb, and I ran Crunch just because... Well, I, not not because of any reason. It was, it was the move I'm going to get rid of for Play Rough, but I just never never got around to it. Probably should, actually, because probably be useful. Goes for Fake Out. Okay, so fair enough. Yeah, okay. I'll be down in a sec. Well, not in a sec. Probably, like, in a while. A I don't know. My official call. I've been called to eat. I apologize for my little brother walking in. But we're still gonna go for Rock Tomb after that fake out. What convenient time to record, eh? When your parents, your parents want you to eat. But Rock Tomb should be good because it slows down anything in. And this is like a jolly thing about Bob. So he sends in Trevenant, which is not exactly a good switch in because I have a crunch. This could be actually beneficial because he may go for Will O Wisp, predicting. Um, and by, judging by that damage, wow, I actually really want to go for crunch. Because he might. Because he knows Sucker Punch won't do anything. So. Crunch may have actually helped. So if I go for Crunch and get the surprise KO. Oh! Crunch actually helped out. Wow. Me not running player off helped out. That is insane. I'm not sure if player off would kill anyway, but at least Crunch doesn't miss. That's it. That is... Okay, so he sends in his own right now. Okay, th this should be fun. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have Swords Dance either. That's, that's probably weird. Iron Iron Head. I don't know, I've just got some retarded sound here, but... <laughs> That's so great, I got rid of his huge offensive threat already. I kind of just want to Iron Head, because it's neutral and it'll, it'll do di nice damage. Because I feel like he may just want to set up a Swords Dance, predicting me to switch out. 
And I don't want him to set up swords on that side. Definitely just want to go for the Iron Head and get as much damage off as possible. And yeah, I'm going to outspeed because I'm Jolly Nature and stuff. Woo! Oh, wow. Okay, that is not enough. So yeah, look, look, there's the sword stance that I predicted. And Flicker Punch is not going to be doing much because I'm resisted, so... I'm just going to go for another Iron Head, really, because I, I outspeed, you know. Because obviously I'm max speed, and I really doubt he's got any speed investment. So yeah, look, I'm constantly outspeeding. I'm not winning any speed ties, which he... Oh, oh imagine I've got the flinch. Oh, he's pulling like, Oh, that's just... Oh, and he just takes me out. But, 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 but. Oh, he's going to send something to Sucker Punch, I suppose. That makes sense. Uh, what's my Amaldo's base speed, actually? Because I do have Aqua... Oh, 49. That's terrible. I don't want him to take a Sucker Punch. Um... Oh, wow. This is a difficult choice, to be honest. I'll be honest with you. It's like... Oh, I've got a choice banded Aegis Slash. I don't know. Wait. Oh, shit. This is max speed, though. So, like that... Oh, is it max speed? Did I give it like Jolly Nature and stuff like that? It is quicker. How quick was my thing? 112 speed. Oh wow, okay. Ugh. I mean, the best safe place is sending my Cacton, really. Because, yeah, that, that is pretty much the best play. He doesn't like he has much priority on his team besides extreme speeding. Oh, extreme speed Pikachu is so real. Uh, I might just Sucker Punch just for the hell of it because, you know, if he says with another sword, I mean, if he keeps on setting up Swords as, I'm just going to spam Sucker Punch till, yeah. So I'm going to go for Sucker Punch right now and just, just KO this thing. And I do KO, which is nice. I'm glad I didn't overpredict anything. And obviously it's going to KO. So I still have my Focus Sash intact, which is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I do love Cacturn. He is a really underrated Pokemon. I mean, I, the attack stat is insane. It really is. It's just incredibly high. I feel like a Drain Punch is coming my way, but I don't want to switch into Aegis Slash because I know Knock Off is, like, such a good move. <laughs> I kind of want to go for my own... Oh, no, I don't know, because there's no point Drain Punching. I may as well just go for Seed Bomb and get as much damage off as possible. Yeah, I feel like a Seed Bomb Sucker Punch combo would be the best, because there's no point really Drain Punching, really. Yeah, because he's going he's gonna to KO me. So I'll just go for Seed Bomb. So I outspeed, go for Seed Bomb, just get some damage off, because I don't... I don't want a knockoff coming to my face. He goes for EQ. Okay, so he's definitely predicting, like, a switch out. Because, obviously, he won't go for EQ on this <laughs> normally. Yeah, I see he predicted the Aegis Slash to come in. And, oh, no, I still don't want to switch into this. Now, nah, let's just go for Seed Bomb. Okay, again, just, just go for Seed Bomb again. I mean, just get as much damage off as possible. Just Drain... Oh, yeah, Drain Punch would have been useless. Yeah, now he goes for Drain Punch, which is fair enough. I really wanted to switch into Aegis Slash, but then I thought, nah, there's, n there's not much point. I mean... Cacturn has done his job, he's done He's done what he needs to do, and he, I mean, he's, he's definitely, he's, maybe he's not Guts, he might just be Iron Fist, which is useful, I suppose. So, now I'm just going to send in Noivin, really, because he can't really Mac Punch, because it's not going to do much. So I'm just going to send in Noivin, I'm going to outspeed and just go for, like, Air Slash. I have no reason not to go for Air Slash, even Pikachu doesn't really want to take that hit, to be honest. Oh, I wish I had Flamethrower on this thing. That would have been useful. Because then uh, I could actually touch Aegislash. Slash. But yeah, I'm just going to go for Aegislash. Slash. I'm going to KO. Life Orb, easily going to KO. Even with Assault Vest, he's, he's obviously going to die. So yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Kill, kill that. Life Orb recoil. So he's easy. I've got the Life Orb now. So so yeah, like I said, it's a very hyper offensive team. It's not much of a defensive core. Like like you said, like like, like you saw, Cacturn's kind of got sent in to die. You know, it didn't really... I'm scared of a Choice Scarfed Draco Meteor. I definitely don't want to take a Dragon Titan Pat. I feel like he's going to be Choice because that's the standard set. So now I'm going to switch it to Aegislash because it's, it's just a good switch in. And Aegislash is banded. You know, it's just kind of... I'm just kind of running it for the lols. There's no really... Dragon Pulse, yeah. So, I, so he wouldn't have stayed in because clearly the way he sent it in implied that he was quicker. If he wasn't quicker, then I, I'm going to cry that, that he bluffed it that well. I'm going to go for Shadow Claw, because that'll hit everything on his team. Wait, what's he got? He's got three Pokemon. Yeah, he's got Pikachu, Aegis Slash. So yeah, if Aegis Slash comes in, it's going to take a Shadow Claw. Choice Banded Shadow Claw. I don't think he wants to take that. Plus it's Stab, plus it's everything. And it's it's basically going to KO anything. Anything that comes in right now is getting KO'd. He sends in the mascots. Pikachu, I'm pretty sure this thing's going to get KO'd. I am positive a Choice Banded is going to kill it. I, I, I hope so. I want it to kill Come on. Oko? Uh, 
Yes! Okay, awesome. Basically, Angle Slash is just gonna, just gonna win the game for me, really, I think so. It's gonna do so much damage. Sends in his own Aegis Slash, probably to Shadow Sneak. Ah, but if he predicts my King Shield, because he doesn't know I'm banded, because Pikachu's frail. If he predicts my King Shield, he'll go for Sword Sense right now, so I actually want to go for another Shadow Claw. Predicting him to Sword Stance. I do have actually Speed Investment, so I will have Speed. Hopefully he doesn't go for King Shield, because that'd be very... I mean, actually, yeah, fair enough. If he gets a King Shield, props on him for predicting that. But, like... I feel like he'll think I go for King Shield or I'm going to switch out. Awesome. Hey, he's got a shiny Aegis Slash as well, I just realized. <laughs> it's going to be a cool thumbnail. Like, oh, yeah, if I just put the shiny Aegis Slash. Oh, he goes for King Shield. Playing it safe. Nice. Nice one. I mean... <laughs> I have Greninja for the, for the thing. Do I have Sash on this? I have Expert Belt. I have Armado as well, I have Noivern, I have... Actually, I kind of want this thing alive, to be honest, it's Aegis Slash. Uh, what could he not do much to? Greninja, because I outspeed. I have a feeling he's not going to go for a... He switches out. Oh, to get the further Intimidate. Very smart. Very... That's actually a nice play, because, yeah, if I stayed in... And... Then you get out. I'm technically at minus two, because the choice band puts me to plus one. Effectively, that really boggled my mind actually when I first figured it out. That actually just gives you like it's the same as a plus one stat boost. It made me appreciate plus one stat boosts a lot more because I used to always think I had to set up plus two to actually do any damage until I realized. But you know, Ice Beam, you know, why not? I don't think this guy can Oko me unless he runs Draco Meteor then. But then I can just send an Aegis Slash next turn because he's going to be choiced and then I Shadow Claw and I'm going to kill something. He runs Draco Meteor, fair enough. So I'm pretty sure I, I, I'm gonna, I might die. If I don't die, then he's dying from, to an ice beam. But yeah, I die. Oh my god, I don't die! I'm not even Sash. That's beautiful. Greninja somehow has some bulk. Taking a Draco Meteor. So I'm just gonna go for ice beam. And then he's gonna go for shadow sneak. And then I'm, oh, fucking hell. Ugh. I would have much preferred him to, oh no. But then, then again, Aegis Slash still would have been a problem. Shadow sneak. Do I predict it? Do I have anything to switch in on a Shadow Sneak? Do I any anything realistically to switch in on a Shadow Sneak? Oh, Maldo, really, because it's my physical wall. I have one physical wall. It's kind of like my multi-wall, because it has the Salt Vest as well. So it kind of just walls both. This is a very quick game, and luckily my hyper-offensive team's actually doing pretty decently, which is nice to know. Because of Shadow Sneak, yeah, as predicted, it's a bit, bit of an obvious switch, I suppose. I mean, I have nothing else better to do, but like, because I don't want the stat drop, I feel, I have a feeling he's going to go for King Shield, so I'm going to go for Rapid Spin, just so I don't get, yep, just so I don't get the minus two stat drop, you know, just, just, just for the hell of it, because King Shield is so obvious, I mean, it was his best play, he kind of had to, you know, Rapid Spin doesn't affect it, I don't get the minus two, which is great, now I can go for Knock Off, Knock Off his item, if he gets a double King Shield, then fair enough, but yeah, okay, he's going for Shadow Sneak, He's probably just accepted defeat right now. And I do have, I think I do have, like, max attack on this thing. I'm not entirely sure. Iron Head. Oh, no, my physical wall does not live. Well, that was kind of a pointless turn. Well, then. Ha! That was fun. Oh, my God. This thing actually might come back. Because my English is banded. So that's really annoying. Um... I don't have anything, anything to hit this guy, like, super effective. I, every every move here is resisted, slash, does not affect it. So I may as well just go for Hurricane, just, just for the hell of it. Yeah, he's going to go into Defense Form, obviously. I wish I had Flamethrower. That would have been beautiful. <sighs> so I'm just going to have to hopefully prey on Confusion Hacks or something like that. So we'll, we'll just see how this goes. We'll just see how this goes. Hopefully Confuse Hacks does pull through. <laughs> oh, freaking hell. I can't believe that was, then again, about oh, Armado had like no speed. Unless this guy runs speed investment as well, which is interesting. Hurry, ah, oh, hacks gods. Gotta love him, right? <laughs> this Aegis Slash is gonna wreck me. That's the annoying part. Oh my god, it's gonna just destroy my team. You know, I'm just gonna predict King Shield because it's so freaking obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna send an Aegis Slash. 
Uh, yeah, let's just send an Inkslash. That should be a that should be a good switch. I don't think this guy has a Shadow Claw, so Shadow Sneak's the only thing that's gonna hit me super effective. So yeah, that's pretty much his best move, going for Shadow Sneak, which means he'll outspeed. He'll be in attack form, even at minus, even at minus two. He might just go for King Shilion, which is fair enough. But my best play is just to spam Shadow Claw right now because I have nothing else better to do. He's going, yeah, of course he's gonna go for King Shield. Because why wouldn't you? Oh, this Egg Slash is causing problems. This banded Egg Slash needs to. <laughs> I mean, it it it, it the Pikachu. You know, I'm just just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. Oko the Pikachu. Oh wait, but now Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak might actually kill me. Oh, this is such a painful process to go through. Well, I, I have to go for Shadow Claw. It's my only hope. Please, Shadow Sneak, don't kill me. I, Iron Head. Oh my God, what? You guys right? Don't get a flinch. Don't <laughs> oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, I'm gonna. The only thing I can do now, I don't want him to shadow sneak now, so I'm gonna have to sacrifice my. My, uh. Greninja. Oh! Wow, he outspeeds. That's weird. He outspeeds my Aegislash. That means he must be max speed. He must be a max speed Aegislash because I got speed investment in this as well. But I'm pretty sure it's, mine's like an. I'm pretty sure this is like a brave nature. It kind of like it's kind of like half trying to try. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't bred very well. I don't think it was just kind of like fall. Oh, I'll give it max speed. Oh, this is so much annoying. This is yeah. This, this egg slash is gonna sweep. This egg slash is gonna wreck my team. It just is. It's it I, that flinch. Oh my god, I could have shadow clawed and won. Ah, oh, flinch right where I'm at. Is this gonna king shield now? And he's, he's obviously gonna king shield. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? Why? 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 Why wouldn't you? <sighs> Egg slash. So it's God. Okay, maybe running a banded one kind of hindered me because now I can't lower his attack. That's the annoying thing. I couldn't have because he can't switch out right now, and I can't lower his attack, so I can't hinder him, which is really annoying. That's so frustrating. And now he's gonna go for Shadow Sneak, and uh, I can't win. The banded Aegis Slash just screwed me up, unfortunately. Uh, even with an Iron Head, he's gonna, he's gonna KO. That's that's the problem. Uh, yeah, I've lost. There's, there's, there's no way he's won. I, he's going for Iron Head again. Uh, Chris, what? I thought maybe, maybe I could live, but a crit. Uh, the Hax Gods do not want me to win. They do not want me to win. This Aegis Slash has won. He has won. This is so embarrassing. This is what I get for running Banded Aegis Slash. This is like the punishment. <laughs> wow, and you go into defense form. Just let me confuse. I missed the Hurricane as well. That was that was kind of slightly annoying because then I couldn't have gone for like Shadow Sneaks. Ugh. You know, the Hax Gods have decided the fate. Because that flinch. I could have Oko to freaking. He was in attack form and everything. Ah. Oh. Okay, Hurricane, thank you. But I'm gonna take life form, he's gonna just iron head. Confused! Confused! No, he's not confused, okay. Damn it. Well, good game, man. It's kinda of what I get for, for running retarded sets, you know, it's just it's what I deserve. <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, I'm kinda of losing my voice a little bit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, <laughs> I just got single handedly destroyed by this Aegis Slash, which is. Fun, I suppose. And no, I'm not saving it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like for, for Mount Silver and stuff like that. And if you guys like, enjoy the live commentary, I know it's a bit... You know, I run retarded sets on my channel, so you'll probably see a lot more of this and a lot more of losing. And But, you know, I, I play I play the game for fun, mainly. You know, just on a competitive side as well. I try to make them somewhat competitive. But yeah, you know, my channel's gonna be below. Obviously, if you're new to Mount Silver, obviously subscribe to that as well. And it's awesome, because lots of battling on this channel. Most importantly, hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I guess I'll just see you guys when I see you. So, I'll just see you later.